The history of bird migration has always been a source of fascination. By marking birds in one location and recovering them in another, the mystery of migration can be solved. But first, you've got to catch the birds. For over a century, Attaching leg bands to migratory birds has unlocked countless mysteries of bird movement and abundance. This information, coupled with the ecological knowledge of residents from northern communities, has ensured long-term stability of birds that are important to culture and traditions. One of the hundreds of banding sites in North America is Alaska's Inoko National Wildlife Refuge where a roundup of greater white-fronted geese takes place each summer. I've been doing the um, white-fronted goose banding work uh, since 2003. That was my first trip, so a little over 20 years. My name's Heather Wilson. 33, adult male. I'm a biologist pilot for Fish and Wildlife Service, and I work for a division called uh, Migratory Bird Management that specializes in uh, bird surveys. They can't fly like the other birds. In mid-July, tens of thousands of greater white-fronted geese arrive to molt their worn flight feathers and begin rapid growth of new ones. We're trying to optimize, you know, a period where their feathers are not too small and we might cause damage and not too big and they're going to fly away. So there's kind of a 10-day window in there that we're trying to hit. This banding operation is based out of a remote field camp located over 50 miles from the nearest village and accessible only by float plane. From the field camp, float planes transport the banding crew to nearby lakes to set up capture nets. Okay, so when the geese hit these feed lines, they start funneling towards a uh, habitat that they see as safe. They can't get through these nets, so they keep kind of moving forward along the V uh, until they see what they think is a way to escape, which actually is the, is the trap. So um, we'll see how it works out. When the nets are in place, the crew loads back into float planes and the drive begins. Specifically for this, I fly the smallest of the planes that we use, and it's coordinating aircraft basically in the air. So I spend most of my time in the air, circling um, fairly low and slow over the other three aircraft that are on the water, taxiing and pushing the bird. I can see from above the perspective that they can't see from the ground, so it helps herd them, because essentially we're herding them into what from the ground looks like a very large trap, but from the air, it really isn't very big compared to all the alternatives that the birds have. Yeah, Brad Scotton, I'm the supervisory wildlife biologist and pilot for the Kaikuk Nwitna National Wildlife Refuge. I think I've done it 18 times, possibly 19. Once in the net, the banding process begins. The crew organizes into various roles, geese wranglers, banders, and data recorders. We're aging them based on the amount of flicking on the, on the belly. There's very little here, so we're calling it a second year, meaning it was, it was hatched last summer. Uh, then we put on a band, 
This one's number 2177-404-18. Dennis, 1-8, second year, male. Once a bird is captured inside the net pin, to be released into the lake is most of the time, certainly less than two minutes. We turn them loose towards the lake so they get back in the water quickly. That's the safest place for them. Then once they're in the water, they, you know, they get to cool off and calm down and swim away and get back together with the rest of the birds. A well-coordinated crew can process a flock of 350 geese in about an hour and a half. It typically takes two to three days of hard work to complete the banding project. Even though we're doing the same thing, there's always some sort of fresh component, um, and that's fun and rewarding personally. Um, in terms of it, the enjoyment factor, like the camaraderie that we have is really special. You, you're getting to see things that most people don't see, and when you do work together as a team well, that's just like in any team, that's really um, satisfying and fun. The component of this one that I actually enjoy the most is that it's a team effort. A lot of the surveys I do are, are just me and one biologist in an airplane flying an aerial survey. So I get to work with other sort of like-minded biologists from different parts of the state um, who I've worked with for years. There's a camaraderie with getting a big project all done successfully and doing it as a team. It's not, because if any one person messes up, the whole thing falls apart. So there's no hero, you know, everybody works together to get something done. In Alaska, geese are a culturally important part of what sustains people who live from the land. So for this Alaskan banding crew, their work is rewarding, knowing they help ensure these geese remain plentiful into the future. Soon the geese will head south on their fall migration. But before long, a new set of birds will return. There the banding crew will be waiting for them, welcoming them back with a fresh set of leg bands. Appreciate the trees you drive past. Gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Appreciate the trees you drive past.